previously on Growing and Becoming. But then, how do you protect yourself from a potential toxic relationship? In the previous episode, we talked about enjoying singlehood. We talked about the fact that people need to learn to be happy in themselves, to be content in themselves, and not attach their values to a romantic relationship. Relationships don't make you. They won't make, they can't make you. They can't complete you. So you need to be content with yourself first. Because imagine if you were happy as you are and someone is constantly disrespecting your time by being late to everything. They don't respect your time. They talk down on you in public. They embarrass you. If you are complete in yourself, you wouldn't even be in that relationship for too long because you know who you are. You know your value. You know your worth. You know what your non-negotiables are. We talked about knowing what your negotiables and your non-negotiables should be. Learn about yourself outside the walls of a romantic relationship. Understand what your values and principles are. If you don't really have much of them, then use that time to establish some. Because if you are cheating in a relationship, it's because there is something about yourself that is lacking. You have not taken time to identify what that is. And let me tell you this, it would be difficult for you to do that within a romantic relationship. These are things you are supposed to identify for yourself outside of a romantic relationship. Even in terms of friendship, you should be content with who you are as a person. Then you'll be able to know the kind of treatment you deserve or the kind of treatment you should receive from someone else. What are your personal boundaries? What are the things that you cannot do to someone? And what are the things people cannot do to you? Learn those things. There are certain things that to you might be dismissible. Ask yourself why and if it is a healthy thing that you should keep ignoring someone who's constantly beating you up. It's a no-brainer. If someone is beating you, you should not be in a relationship with them. Don't be in a relationship with someone who's physically abusive to you know what your boundaries are because those are the things you take into a relationship if you don't start for anything you will fall for everything whatever they dish to you you take it that's not how life should be lived even in your friendships there should be boundaries people should not be comfortable to speak to you anyhow in public you should not be that friend that they are constantly ridiculing in public why you why have you chosen to be the class clown Why? These are things that should be clearly defined whilst you are single. It's hard to accept certain treatments, certain attitudes, when you already understand the value of you. When you understand who you are, what you bring to the table, what you carry. You need time and space with yourself and obviously with God. And please, you don't have to date everyone. It's not everyone you are attracted to that you should date or you should be in a long-term relationship with. If you notice some of these toxic traits early in the relationship, end the relationship. It's okay to take a break and be like, you know what? Maybe we need to go our separate ways. Before it gets out of hand, you don't have to wait for years. Save yourself first and then you can think of everything else later. Now, this is not me saying that at the slightest setback, you should run away from a relationship. Absolutely not. I have given you clear characteristics of a toxic relationship. I'm not saying that after one argument with the person you are dating, then you should walk away from the relationship. No, of course not. It's okay to give people second chances. It's okay to forgive people and give them a chance to do better. It's okay to walk through your differences peacefully give the relationship a chance if all these measures are in place so please don't attach yourself to the idea of a romantic relationship i know that there are people listening to me that are probably in toxic relationships and maybe you're thinking how do i get out of it the short answer would be just end it but of course this is a practical podcast we talk practicalities And I understand that it can be very tricky 
to navigate certain levels of toxicity in a relationship. Some of those relationships are life-threatening. So there is a lot of wisdom when it comes to getting out. Maybe you need to find someone to confide in. Let people know what you are going through. Perhaps look for someone with a bit of influence that can help you out of that situation if you are unable to do so yourself. However, if it's not a life-threatening one per se, even though I think all toxic relationships are essentially life-threatening, it's just that some are much of some are more like a slower kill than others. So if you are in one that seems to be less life-threatening, then have a conversation with them. Let them know what you are not happy about. Hear their response. If they are willing to admit to their flaws or their mistakes and are making a commitment to do better, fine and good. Obviously, not all toxic relationships are irredeemable, although I wouldn't bank on it if I were you. However, it is possible that you can come out of a toxic relationship, but it only takes both parties. So if you are stuck in a relationship, you don't want to leave, and you're hoping that somehow he or she will change, and they're not taking any actions towards changing themselves, I think you should just call it quits. 